Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here, back again with another video, and today guys, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at a brand new website, and that website is a site that you're going to be able to go on and actually get Madden Ultimate Team coins for playing games, for opening virtual packs, things like that. So it's a pretty cool, unique site that we haven't really seen in the Madden community before. It's been around in the FIFA community, this style of site in the past, so it's definitely something that has picked up in the FIFA community, but we're finally getting it in Madden. So I wanted to take the time to actually go in and take a look at this website with you guys. Now before I get started, I do want to say that yes, this video is a sponsored video. I am being paid to advertise the website. However, everything that you see in this video is my honest opinion of the website. There's been no coercion or anything like that on their part. So if I like the site, I'm going to tell you guys my honest opinion on it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion on it as well. So you guys see, first of all, in the top right corner of the screen, I have 3 million coins to start off. So we're going to see exactly what happens. Now I know there's going to be times where I'm going to win coins there's gonna be times where I lose coins playing the games and that kind of thing but what ends up happening here guys at the end of the day is you're gonna be able to take the coins that you have on here and you can turn them into Madden ultimate team coins so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense we'll get more into how exactly that breaks down and how it happens here in just a few moments um, the first thing when you come to the website guys you're gonna actually see the website is called maddenmascot.com so the first thing that you're gonna see is their logo the giant mascot here kind of cool I mean I definitely like that they went out of their way to make the site actually visually appealing, which is kind of a little bit of an issue on some of the Madden uh, websites on, you know, different communities and things like that. But um, the first thing here, guys, when you first go to the site, you're going to see that it says packs actually worth opening. So yes, you actually are opening virtual Madden Ultimate Team packs right here on the website. Now, when you go to open packs in the top menu, you're going to actually see a variety of different packs that you can open, ranging anywhere from 10,000 coins all the way up to 2 million coins. They did actually add the team of the year packs yesterday as well. Those are 1 million coins. Now, just to keep in mind, guys, these are not the same packs that you have in Madden Ultimate Team. So in this case, you're guaranteeing yourself six elite players, including three Team of the Year players, at least three Team of the Year players, and one of them is guaranteed to be a 94 or above player. So you know, you know, you can make coins, you can potentially lose coins. What you want to do is really look through these and find the ones that you think are going to be the most profitable for you, um, you know, depending on how much you have to spend. So going down to here too, there are also also things that are called YouTuber packs on here so everybody that's that's making a video on this uh, and people that are sponsored to do this actually have their own packs on here um, so you can potentially open up those and get some cool stuff I actually have had my best luck on this site opening up the YouTuber packs oddly enough um, now keep in mind all of the YouTuber packs are also different from one another so like the Madden Mobile Gods pack he's got a different thing in it than let's say just a bro and RBT that dude Sly Ryan 915 me there I am click with I have my own pack on here. Yeah, we'll open up one of those eventually here in today's video. Mike Mack has one. Kranz Melt. I Joshify the homie and C Fonts. All those guys have their own packs on here as well. So make sure that you go through and take a look at them. Um, there are different things that are guaranteed in each of the packs. So sometimes you're going to get some higher overall stuff, but maybe you don't have as many cards in the pack and, you know, things like that. So it's all kind of a risk and reward type thing. Um, there are also games on here that you can play, and we'll do those in just a moment. Now, in order to get started on this website, what you have to do is you have to go up here to buy coins, okay? So you go up to buy coins, and you're going to see that. That it's just like uh, if you were buying coins on one of the coin buying websites for example so first of all you would make an account and you would choose the console that you're gonna be on and make sure you choose the correct console by the way because I accidentally chose Xbox and then I had to contact their customer support which actually was really good I, I will say they did a great job they changed it in like two minutes so that was really nice uh, it went from Xbox to obviously as you see here PlayStation for me um, you can also do mobile as well but um, down here in the bottom right hand corner of the website they always have have the uh, live support thing that's uh, available for you to go to at any time and contact somebody if you're having problems with the site, if you're getting errors or anything like that, um, definitely contact them and they're usually pretty good at, at helping you out and they're very quick with it as well. Um, so again, PlayStation for me. Now, if you were going to buy coins on here, what you're going to want to do is slide this over or go ahead and just type in the amount that you want. So in my case, we're going to start with 100,000 coins, okay? So that's going to be $20 on the website. You would click add to cart. And then it's going to bring up the uh, full cart. And right here, of course, obviously, I'm going to be blacking out my information, my actual billing information. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, your billing info would be over here. 
but uh, discount code over here as well. I actually already had it applied on mine, but if you go ahead and type in Clickwid, you're going to get a 10% discount on anything that you purchase. So you can either choose to just save the money, or obviously you can get a few extra coins if you want to spend that, let's say 20 bucks, you could bump it up to $22 worth, and then you're going to get um, the $2 off from there as well. So uh, just keep that stuff in mind, guys. And uh, I also want to point out a couple other things on the site. Um, when you're actually checking out, and we will show you that as well, uh, it's actually really, really simple to check out. And I will show you kind of a good example of how that works. But what I want to do now is I want to open up a couple of packs and see if we can get anything decent out of these. I, I mentioned before that the packs range from 10,000 coins all the way up to 2 million coins. So we're going to open up a few different packs here. We're definitely going to open up some Cliquid packs and see if we can get anything good out of those. Uh, but why don't we start things off here with a simple Elite pack, okay? The Elite packs are going to guarantee us four Elite players, including one guaranteed player of 89 or above ranking, sir, rating, excuse me. So uh, that's going to guarantee us, like I said, four. Four total elite players. We'll open this up and see if we can get anything good out of here. They can be any style of elite players. So just keep that in mind as you're opening it up. So first thing, by the way, that animation is pretty damn cool, isn't it? You, you got to give them credit on that. It looks pretty good. I got to be honest. So first thing here, when you open up a pack, you're going to see that you've got the four cards here in this case. Again, some of the packs are going to contain more than four cards. Some of them are going to contain... I think four is actually probably the least. I, I could be wrong on that, but I think it's probably the least amount. But uh, some of them contain like 15 cards in them. So, you know, you get a good variety there. Anyways, um, as you put your mouse over this, you're going to see that these are actually all going to be elite pulls, which is why they're shaking and in, in, in red when you put your mouse over it. So cool animations. Let's see what we get in the actual packs. We're going to start off with a Max Unger 88. We get a Morgan Burnett. We get a Bruce Matthews. This is actually a legend collectible elite player. Cool. And then we get a Julio Jones 89 overall. So in total, we opened up 49,200 in coins uh, for this pack. So I guess we ended up losing like 800 total coins on this pack. So not a big deal. I mean, kind of a little bit of a loss there. But, you know, you're going to win some. You're going to lose some. And then we'll go down here and uh, we'll open up a couple of other packs here. So we've got the legend packs here. We're not going to do one of those. Why don't we try a team of the year pack since these are brand new into the game. I actually want to open up one of these and see if, because I, I legitimately haven't even opened one of these up yet. So I want to see kind of what it looks like. Again, six elite players, three team of the year players guaranteed, and a 94 overall or above is guaranteed. So let's see. Maybe we'll get ourselves like a David Johnson or something like that. That would be pretty nice. Or maybe one of like the, maybe they've even got the defensive players. I don't know. Um, but all right, here we go. And by the way, guys, you can always click uh, reveal all here. And that's a really quick way of doing things as well. So let's click here. We get a Vic Beasley. Vic Beasley's always a really nice one to pull. Very nice. We get a Mike Evans team of the year. That's a good pull. All right. Get a Tyreek Hill. Okay, 90 overall. Justin Tucker, 97. That's probably actually not a great one because he's a kicker. Yeah, he's like one of the best kickers in the game, but like the value just might not be there. Uh, Jack Conklin, okay, 93. And then a Greg Olson. So... Uh, we ended up losing a little bit of coins on this one, boys, but uh, that's just because we didn't get one of the super high-end pulls, which is, you know, it's going to happen from time to time. You're either going to lose a little bit or you're going to win a little bit, so eh, that's not too bad anyway, but uh, we did get some cool pulls on this as well, and I will show you guys on the sticker book as well. There's a cool, uh, a cool thing within the sticker book that you can do when you're opening up these packs as well, where you can get additional free coins on top of what you would potentially win in these packs. So, uh, again, we've got the 2 million coin one. I'm going to stray away from that from right for right now. I'm going to open up a couple Clickwood packs and see if we can get anything good out of these. Um, now, I mentioned everybody has kind of their own packs in here. Mine is going to con contain at least 5 elite players, including a flashback player, a legend player, a ghost of Madden player, and 3 of the 5 cards are going to be... 89 or above overall. So you're going to get some decent pulls out of my packs. Again, other people have different stuff as well. But let's go in here and see if we can get anything decent. All right. Get the animation rolling in. Let's go. So there's my five cards. And I'm going to check out a couple other people's packs as well and see if we can get anything good out of those. So we start off with a ghost, Jared Goff. All right. We get a 91 David Johnson, a Thursday night draft card. A Marvin Harrison Ghost of Madden card. Nice. So we got two ghosts in this one, actually. Kind of surprising. All right. We got a Paul Kraus. Damn. I think that's our legend. So that's definitely not the best pull that we could have had. But it's an elite legend, so it probably isn't going to be too terrible anyway. And then we end it with a Brandon Marshall 90 overall flashback card. So in this pack, we lost 15,500 coins. 
not the worst, but definitely not the best either. Um, so we'll have to open up a couple other ones and see if we can get anything out of those. Um, let's open up a uh, let's open up an RBT pack because RBT is the homie. So let's see here. He's gonna have five players in his pack as well. Other people have more, by the way, um, and that's just because they have a different variety of stuff in theirs. So like Sly has six elite players. Ryan has five. Uh, most of us have either five or six. It looks like so. Um, yeah, there's kind of a difference in those, but let's open up an RBT pack. Five elite players, including a legend, a color rush player, a motivator, and a ghost player. And he's also going to guarantee you at least 192 or above overall players. So you're going to get some potentially good stuff out of an RBT pack. Let's see if we can get anything out of his. Let's see if we can get some profit rolling in here, boys. Let's see if we can get some profit rolling in. All right, here we go. First pack. All right. Let's go from number four. We're going to start it with a D'Angelo Williams 92 overall player. Nice. Definitely like seeing that. That's going to start off real nice for the pack. 92 overall. We get a Whitney Merciless here, 91 overall as well. That's a playoff card. We get the Jared Goff, same one I actually got in my pack. And then we get a Russell Wilson color rush. Okay. And then we finish it off with an 88 overall with Damian Tomlinson. Boys, we just made 52000 on one pack just that quick, ladies and gentlemen. That is actually a pretty nice profit on the RBT pack. I got to be honest. We might have to open up another RBT pack. Those might be hot right now. Let's open up another RBT pack and see if we can get anything good out of this one. I'm, I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping. Let's see if we can make any profit on this one. I don't know if we're going to or not, but let's start it from the back. We get the Odell Beckham Jr. Team of the Week 92 overall limited edition card. Very nice. Love that. Randall Cobb motivator. All right. A Javon Curse, baby. Let's go. The Freak. 94 overall. Very nice. Ghost of Madden player. Gary Barnage in 85. That's probably like the worst color rush we could have pulled, unfortunately. We were on a really hot streak right here. And then we wrap it up with a Kevin Green. Not a great elite bar, uh, legend pull. But we did make 17000 on this one as well. So you guys can see we're back up to $3 million. I mean, you again, you're going to win some. You're going to lose some. It just depends. You know, uh, all the packs are pretty much going to win or lose. There's not really going to be a time where you're going to always lose. You're always going to win on a given pack. So, you know, it's kind of a gamble one way or another. But you can certainly profit as you've seen in the past two packs. Uh, the past two packs alone, we've made what? 75,000 coins almost in the just two packs alone. So not too bad, man. Not too bad. All right. Um, again, guys, we do also have other YouTuber packs as well. Let's go ahead and check out the play games as well. We're just going to do one of each of these games, um, see if we can win anything. I'm not going to bet a whole lot on these, but uh, there are two games that you can play, highest player or spin the wheel. Let's start off with highest player. Basically, in this game, what you're going to do is you're going to have a card and the mascot's going to have a card. Kind of similar to Blackjack, although there's no drawing in addition. It's just one or the other. Actually, it's more like War, come to think of it. Remember the card game War? You're either going to have the higher overall or the lower overall. If, if you have the higher overall you win if you have the lower overall you lose and if you have the same overall then you tie so it's really simple on this you can bet uh, I believe up to a hundred thousand coins if I remember correctly yeah a hundred thousand is the max on the games um, that you can bet per hand or per roll or whatever you want to call it uh, but again they're you know it's predetermined so what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna bet twenty five thousand and see if we can win so let's open it up and see. The first one we do win right off the bat, guys. We get the 90 overall Weston Richburg against Ed Tutal Jones. So we do get the W right off the bat there. You guys can see we won 50,000 or 25,000 profit just that quick. It's really, really simple. Um, again, it's a gamble one way or another. You're going to win some. You're going to lose some. Uh, but that's cool. We won the 25K to start it off. Let's go over here to spin the wheel because I actually really like to spin the wheel. This is something where you can actually make 10 times your amount that you bet in one spin. Now, now, again, that's not going to happen that often, of course, but you guys can see here what we have is the, uh, it's basically like a roulette wheel, okay? So there's two slots where you will lose. There's one slot where you'll spin again. So, um, you know, three of the six are not going to be profitable. Only one of, or one of the six, or one of those three, excuse me, though, you just spin again. So that's not too bad. Um, two times here, you can win, you know, if you bet 25,000, just like you did on the other one, you'll actually win 50,000. Uh, if you get that three times, you'd win 70,000 or 75,000, excuse me, if you bet 25K. And then the 10 times, you would actually win 10 times your bet. So in this case, if I land on the 10 times, I'm actually going to get 250K really, really quickly. So you can actually multiply your coins a lot very, very quickly in this. Yeah, I'm just going to say, guys, this can get pretty this can get pretty addictive. I'm going to be honest with you. So uh, we're only going to do it once or twice. But uh, let's spin the wheel and see if we get anything decent out of this, boys. All right, so the first one, unfortunately, we take the L. 
Let's try it one more time, though. 25k. We already won the 25k on the other one. Uh, again, you are going to win some. You're going to lose some on these games. But overall, I think it's pretty even. And damn it, we lose that time as well. But again, there's going to be times where you're going to win and there's times when you're going to lose. Um, one other thing that I did also want to point out, guys, I mentioned the sticker book, okay? If you go take a look at the sticker book, it's actually a, a thing that where you can actually collect all of the cards that you would have opened. So, like, for example, in this case, uh, you guys saw earlier, I got a Justin Tucker, okay? Now, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the 50 top players that are currently in the game in terms of overall. So you've got the Tom Brady here, David Johnson, Justin Tucker, uh, Odell Beckham Jr., Brett Favre, all the way down, um, the 50 top overall players, okay? So in order to get them, you're going to have to open up packs that are kind of specific to getting those players. Now, when you actually acquire all 50 of them, you're going to actually win 5 million coins just that quickly. So it's actually a really cool way of doing things. I really like the fact that they had the sticker book in here because it makes it so that when you're opening packs, you, in addition to trying to win and uh, win coins individually per pack, you're actually also trying to make sure that you get those top 50 players. So I've actually already pulled 11 of the top 50 current players, uh, including this Justin Tucker. I was actually happy to pull that because I think that's one of the more difficult ones actually to pull because it's high overall. Uh, we got the Gaskowski here. We got the Mike Evans team of the year. So the team of the years are actually ones that you're going to want to pull right now because a lot of the high overall guys, as you can see here, Jordy Nelson uh, and other guys, they're actually pretty much only going to be in the team of the year packs right now so once you would get all the team of the year players then you'd want to move on to other packs obviously that contain the guys that you need um like the let's say the Deion sanders you're going to want to get packs that have like the the christmas players or the the ultimate freeze players in them and things like that so hopefully that makes some sense now when you're ready to withdraw, so if you're ready to actually click on the withdraw button, very, very simple, guys. All you have to do is go on here, and you're going to choose an amount that you want to withdraw. So I think it automatically defaults to 10% of your coins that you have on here. So like, for example, let's say I wanted to withdraw, let's say I wanted to withdraw 300,000, okay? I'm going to type in 300,000 there, or I can pull the little bar if I want to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type in a player. Now, the player is somebody that you're going to want to have on your ultimate team. So like, for for example, uh, let's say I want to do a Tevin Coleman, okay? Let's say I have a Tevin Coleman on my roster right now. I have like a silver Tevin Coleman. I would type in Tevin Coleman, and it's going to bring up all the different Tevin Colemans that are currently in the game that you could potentially have. So in this case, it's a 72 overall Tevin Coleman. I'm going to put that down, and then it's going to have my email address here in case there's any sort of hiccup in the you know withdrawal process. Or uh, my and also my phone number. If there's any problem, they'll give you a call, and it's really easy customer service. They get in contact with you. Make sure that you're getting you your coins. That's the important part. So when you do this, if I'm withdrawing 300,000, it's going to want me to put up the card for 300,000 coins onto the auction block on my console. So I would put the 72 overall Tevin Coleman onto the console auction block for 300,000. At a starting price, it's going to tell you what starting price it wants you to put it at of 9,000 coins. That way, it the system that they're using knows this is your card. And that way, they purchase the correct thing so that you get your coins. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Very easy to withdraw. It's a pretty cool website. I mean, I'll tell you guys, I've been having a hell of a lot of fun on here, just messing around, opening packs, and screwing around. So hopefully you guys will go ahead and check this one out. Make sure that if you do check it out, you use code CLICKWID because, again, you're going to get 10% off of all of your purchases when you come onto the website. And I'll just tell you guys straight up. We might have lost a little bit of coins because we were playing the games, um, but when we were opening up packs, you guys can see we were actually opening up a good amount of profit out of those packs. My personal opinion is stick with the packs. I know a lot of people like to get that 10 times uh, attempt on the spin the wheel. I'm not that person. I have personally seen Ryan915 roll the 10 times when he bet 100K. And he made, so that means he made 900,000 in profit in like five seconds. So it's definitely possible. I've seen it with my own eyes. But unfortunately, I haven't had that great of luck on it. I've had much better luck opening the pack. So that's the suggestion I'm going to give to you guys if you want to go on here and play on the website, mess around, have some fun. Make sure, that, again, that you guys use code CLICKWID at the, ch at the checkout because you do get that 10% off. So thanks again, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something about this website. And if you guys are enjoying it, make sure that you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the website. Let the, know let the developers also know what you think. What are your favorite packs? Sp specifically, which YouTuber packs do you think are the best? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm going to have to have them change my YouTuber packs at some point. I don't know, but we'll see, you guys. Thanks again so much for all the support. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.